Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? This is Enrique from Easy Things to Draw, and I do want to talk a little bit about something. I want to talk about whether um, this question kind of came up to me, and it's kind of a question I've answered before, but I guess um, I'll uh, you know make another little mini video about it, answering it. The question was, should you um, nurture your strengths in drawing and art, or should you uh, work on your weaknesses? You know. And everybody already kind of knows my answer, but I'm gonna kind of reiterate it and just kind of say it again in this little mini video. Uh, look, I mean, it kind of depends what you want to do. That's, that's the truth. If you want to be a, uh, let's say, background concept artist or something like that, like for just environments, you know, and you're pretty good at environments, nurture that. You know what I mean? You really should kind of go after that. Really do spend 90% of your time learning about environments only. You know what I mean? Um... But generally, like I said, through most careers, uh, you know, whether you're like a concept artist or a comic book artist or a, uh, a uh, what else, just like a fine artist even, you're really going to have to work on your weaknesses. To you, I really, I always stress this, you got to be a well-rounded artist. You know what I mean? You got to learn to do everything. That's kind of the truth, you know, or at least be able to do everything. You, know, you don't have to do it all the time, you know. But, uh, you know, be able to do everything you can possibly do. And then, you know, you got your little specialty. You know, you got your specialty that you do, that you enjoy more than anything, right? Um, but, yeah, I, I strongly, strongly employ working on your weaknesses. So that would be my answer. Uh, that's my overall answer. But like I said before, there are certain situations. Uh, if you look at guys like James Pike, uh, he, I remember I, I had a class with him. Look up his stuff. His stuff is amazing. James Pike, P-A-I-C-K, I think. He's an amazing concept art uh, concept artist with for backgrounds, and he said he started doing backgrounds because nobody was doing backgrounds at the time. So he chose to become very very good at something that most people didn't really, you know, do a lot of because everybody was into characters and things like that. So he chose to do that. But he, I know he can does he does amazing characters also, and he doesn't do everything, you know what I mean? But he just kind of focused more. So maybe shifting your focus would be the right way to think about it instead of like, you know nurturing strengths and weaknesses you know but like like i said if i had to pick one it would be uh you know working on your weaknesses you know uh also i do want to say one more thing and this is kind of a little bit about time management so i uh, oh let me say i'll say this first by the way they're not paying me to say this they're not uh you know there's really no sponsorship at all like that kind of thing you know i'm just saying this because i found this program and i thought it was amazing in terms of time management for artists and it's for artists and writers. I believe it was made for writers, but uh, it works great for artists. But it's a it's a program called uh, it's a program called Freedom. Check it out. It's called Freedom. I think it's ten bucks. I might I'll link it below in the description. But what it does is it basically cuts off your internet. You you kind of put in like how many it'll say how many moments of freedom do you want, and I'll put in like thirty minutes, you know, and then it'll cut my internet off completely for 30 minutes. It's very different than turning off your Wi-Fi for some reason, you know? You can't even stop the alarm, you know? <laughs> like, if it's 30 minutes, I'm like, hey, how do I turn this off? I have to, like, control all reset stuff, you know, to actually get my internet back, you know? But for whatever reason, uh, and let me talk a little bit more about this, when I'm drawing, I'll look for reference, maybe. I'll be like, oh, I'll just look for reference. And then somehow you get lost in that click trail, you know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about. You look through a picture, and then all of a sudden you're reading an article about something, or you're watching a quick minute video on, like, you know, 10 different things about this, you know? Like, even if you know... I, I get what you're saying, right? You're saying, I have the discipline to go without that, you know? Um, I, I, You know, you might not. Like, I, I, I have a lot of discipline right now, and even I get caught up in clickbait, you know? So what I do is I put 30 minutes of freedom on that thing. I... Uh, I'll write down what I need to reference later, you know, and then after the 30 minutes up, I reference it, get all the pictures, and do another, like, 30 minutes. You know, it'll completely cut you off. Uh, you also got to turn, you know, you know, they have one for the phone, too. Anyways, that's just because I love the program, okay? <laughs> and they're not paying me, I swear. I got it, like, a few days ago. My productivity's gone, like, through the roof. So, check that out. It's called Freedom. Um, that's about it, then.
question and uh, software recommendation. Talk to you guys later. Uh, if you have any questions, please ask below. If you guys know of any cool programs that you found that really help you kind of manage time, let me know in the comments below. Anyways, talk to you guys later.